uh, starting down South High Bob Trail. Uh, it's windy. Down there. Gonna walk all day. Just a big hole. Hopefully make it. <laughs> okay, we, we just started. This is what it looks like. A lot of signs of mules going around. That's why some people throw away their shoes once they're done. Yep, it's kind of steep. So, it was quite windy when we just started. Now it's quiet in this portion. We'll see how it goes. This is so-called Ua Point. I like it because of the way the sun goes over that little rock thingy in this not so little hole called Grand Canyon. Quiet point. We're shielded from the wind gusts. Yep. Yeah. How it goes. Switch backs. Down. All the way to the river. Can't see it most of the time. It's down in that lowest crack. Nice downhill section. They're all downhill, but it's kind of on the steeper side. Switch backs. Actually, this goes around. I don't know what you call it. This is still the O'Neill Butte. We're getting under it somewhat. This is either near or a point called Skeleton Point. It came from up there or there. I'm not sure. Can't tell. It's looking pretty high from here. And we are, I don't know, a couple hours into it. The first glim glimpse of the river. On the trail. Yeah, that's awesome. Can you step on that stone? I can take no, a picture. You. No, no, you don't want to. It's out of my comfort There's zone. Nothing scary. Nothing uh, scary there. Out of my zone. <laughs> Just balance. Make sure you balance. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's go. So now there's a part where Luciana is not looking to the left. Luckily, it's not windy. Stay with the rocks, stay with the rocks. Yeah. People say this is the scariest, but it's not bad at all. Yep, well, we have a few switchbacks ahead of us. This section is making it almost all the way down. It's really steep, but that's why they have switchbacks. Me a drug all the way down there. It's beautiful and so quiet. Next time, Max, you're coming with us. There's the river. Still way down there. Although it looks like we're getting closer, which we are. Well, we have little tiny cliffs here. <laughs> oh, you can hear the river. That's a nice part. Loose rocks, steep. Switchbacks go like that. Around, down. Yep, I don't know what this part's called, but it's pretty cool. There's the bridge. Here we go. Getting down to the river. Look, there's a boat and the bridge. First one we're going to cross. There's a group with mules on the bridge. We're getting there. Rafting. All right. We're getting there. Colorado the River, pretty gray nowadays because some of the rains. They say color really changes quickly. There's the other bridge. So 
we're gonna go down and cross this bridge first. That's pretty cool. How's it going? We are, I guess we are almost river level. Not quite the lowest point, but real close to, which means we are almost done with the optional part of going down. And uh, the other, not really a half of the part that's mandatory going up. That's what we are looking at. Tunnel before the bridge. Oh. Uh, why didn't I get the guitar? That would be cool acoustics here. And here is the bridge. Too bad it's not rocky more. Look around. Oh, it is rocking a little bit. Uh, Earthquakey feeling. We cross the bridge, goes around and under the end. We're <laughs> north rim, not rim, north side of the canyon. Okay. Huh. No rattlesnakes, nothing. Lots of ouchies around me. We can hear the river now. Going towards what's called Phantom Ranch. We have walked along the river, have been at Phantom Ranch. Now we're about across the second bridge, going back to the south side. And then the mandatory part starts climbing up. Silver Bridge. Now I'm going to be afraid passing it. You can do it! You can do it! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Hmm, yes, you can see down. It's a little faster, this portion of the river. This is cool. I just crossed the bridge, started going up. Figure it's about 10 miles between 9 and 10. But we're in a hole. There's the river. Now the fun starts. It's pretty hot, even though it's end of October and a relatively cold day. But this canyon is. No breeze kind of deal. And people say that in this portion, summertime, who does the hike? It's just about the worst. That's the devil's corkscrew over there. Mm -hmm. Walking through the creek a little bit. Have some more to go. It's a little tricky to not get your feet wet. I think we're done with the creek. No path goes, I hope, elsewhere. Looks a little different around here. Much more vegetation. We're getting, getting somewhat close to what's called Indian Garden. 
but up there, I think is where we're going. And the canyon within the canyon. The climb is not too bad in this area. Out the rim, four and a half. Hmm? Mm -hmm. the Indian Garden. Still haven't figured out where exactly we're gonna come up. It looks pretty damn far. We are a little over four miles away from the point where we are getting to the rim. Because that would be a little steep to climb. Came from down there. So, not quite like corkscrew, but some switchbacks that lead up there. This part may be what's called J Jacob's Ladder. We are hopefully close to a one before last rest house. Now, three miles from the top. The to top down? looks awfully far, <laughs> if that's the top. But that's the rim, so yes, we are going up there somewhere. Three mile rest house. We have one more at a mile and a half from the rim. And we have a little less than three hours of daylight. Good thing, hopefully you make it soon. Good to look down at what we have walked. Wow. There is... So Indian Garden is the no. big green patch over there. Yep. One foot in front of the other. Another cool look at where we're coming from. Still can see that three mile rest house. It doesn't look that far. <laughs> well, not sure. That that's the level. Now we just need to climb that wall. Yeah. <laughs> that's the level. It still looks high or this way, kinda of where we're going. We are at the one and a half mile rest house. It just grinned because you only have a mile and a half to go. Yep. 90% done. 10% left. We got made it to the, I guess, the lower of the two little tunnels that are on this trail. Last stretch. I think there's a person there, but that's not that all the way up level. We probably have less than a half a mile. There's starting to be a lot more people. I wonder why. Maybe it's because many do what we have done a couple years ago. Go down half a mile, three quarters or a mile and then up. Here's the point, another point we remember from coming down from the rim. Rim's up just a little ways up. This, uh, this little tunnel, I'm sure Max would remember. And then I guess this could be considered the end. Hey.